A lot goes into choosing the right name, from babies to pets, even businesses. Tonight in the Solian, Arkansas report, Aaron Nolan introduces us to a business that's doing things differently with a name that's as unique as its product. Why are you being so shy? The curious case of a cat and the business that shares its name. I have to include Betty in everything. Stacy Bowers adopted Betty, bought a pink sparkly name-plated collar, but then she found out something about Betty was not what she thought. I had invested too much money in his collar, so he was staying a Betty. You heard it right. He, Betty, is a boy, and the name stuck. I always try to find reasons to name things after my cat. And so when Stacy decided to turn her handmade jewelry into a business, Bang Up Betty was born. I wanted to make stuff that was funny and meant something. And just like her frisky feline, Stacy's jewelry is quite unique. That's the first thing I did was put cuss words on jewelry. That's how this started. Now Bang Up Betty has won local awards. But for Stacy, it's about more. It's making art and quite honestly, making money. To actually be able to pay a bill with that. <laughs> I know it just like sounds super boring, but it's really exhilarating. <laughs> a bang up business named for a boy cat named Betty. He's a silly little guy, so it's kind of he's kind of like the jewelry. Only in Arkansas will you find bang up Betty and the feline behind the jewelry. In North Little Rock, I'm Aaron Nolan. Yeah, Betty Boop. Now you've got Betty Boy. The boy dog or boy cat Betty. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Who's